When I talk about dumpster diving, what do you think about? Uh, disgustingness. <laughs> disgustingness. If I were to tell you that a dumpster diver, like in dumpster diving, you can find straighteners and curlers that haven't been used, would you go into a dumpster and find them? No, because all the other stuff would still be in there with it. <laughs> I mean, if there's like good stuff in the dumpster, of course. You would go in? Yeah, I'd go in. I mean, if it wasn't dirty as well, you know, if there's like a computer in there that was worth like a lot of money, probably would. Okay. No. Why not? Because it's still trash. I'm not going to go get my clothes dirty for that. <laughs> People get some really good stuff dumpster diving. Like some person's trash is another person's treasure. To quote from the Oxford Pocket Dictionary, dumpster diving is the practice of raiding dumpsters to find discarded items that are still useful, can be recycled, and have great value. In other words, it's the motto of get what you want while you can. Believe it or not, dumpster diving has become an increasingly popular activity. While many dumpsters are just full of trash, many stores will put in the dumpsters things that they've returned, customers have returned, that are still in great conditions, but just have minor flaws or are no longer profitable. We just found this amazing toy, perfectly capable of being used and enjoyed by us in the dumpster. And don't worry, dumpster diving is 100% legal. According to the 1988 case, California versus Greenwood, once a company has thrown out an item, it is now disowned and becomes public property. Dumpster diving might be legal, but it is not safe. There is still a risk of getting injured. Don't try this at home.